Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to update Xcode. And um, let me show you the way I want. So the new Xcode has just released and it was Xcode 13. And it released yesterday and this is the Xcode you want to use if you want to create uh, apps for iOS 15. So one way is to go into, um, just go into um, the App Store and just do it here. However, the App Store is a little buggy and you can see here it doesn't have the update button even though iOS 13 has been released. So, uh, to prove that, this is my Xcode, this is the latest one I've installed. And if I go to Xcode, then about Xcode, you can see it's only version 12.5 instead of uh, 13, which is what we want. So, another way I like to do it is to go to this website and uh, if I just go here and go here, this is the website and then what you do is you just go here Xcode 13 and you just download the zip file there it's 9.6 gigabytes when it's a zip so it is really big but this is the best way of doing it if you want to get um, a reliable way this is really reliable you just download the zip delete the old one I think and um, just do it and you can also use dev cleaner to clean out the old files and yeah if you go to this website there's also a lot of other things and I think they've updated this but there's just a lot of other things you can download so if you really want to get into this you can uh, but a lot of it is old you can also download old version of Xcode so um, if I scroll down a little bit uh, I'll just scroll down this is 12.5 I think this is the one I'm on uh, you can see the beta for 13 was a long time ago but yeah and I'll start making a few videos on new features in iOS 15 but yeah, for now this is the best way of downloading it, just download it here and click the zip and unpack it and follow the instructions. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!